Hello, it's Khan again. Today we will be talking about luxury designer shoes. I have a huge collection of designer shoes. Most of them are from Versace, my favorite brand for shoes. I do have a Dior and a Prada and Coach and Bali and Alexander. Uh, McQueen so and Mastino but today we're talking about the two pair of shoes I got this month the month of July is a Prada and a Dior and these are summer and spring shoes talking about the Prada one first this this is the Prada shoes. I wear size 12. It has an open back. Um, it's very comfortable. This is made out of leather. It has Prada on it. How do I wear this? Um, I'm not really fashionable, so I try to copy the website on how the model wears it. That's how I wear my things. You know, they wear this with long black socks, and it looks really nice. So I wear this with long black socks, like business socks. I wear it with long black socks with this, and it looks just like the model in the picture on the website. So that's how I wear it like that. Um, you can wear this without socks on. Um, it looks odd. Because oh. this is like a, a formal look. So you want to make it look more casual with the socks. Even though the socks are dress up socks. Black socks. Long black socks. Looks really nice with this. It's very comfortable. When I walk in these... If you walk really fast, the shoe will fly off. So you have to walk at normal speed. I'm a fast walker. Believe it or not, I walk so fast that I'm like sweating. I power walk. I don't know why. I just power walk. Uh, I walk faster than my friends. And I'm like 300 pounds. So. <laughs> um, it's very comfortable again. I've worn it a few times already. I have to wash my hands after this, but this is the Prada shoes. I got this in Soho, uh, New York. Um, I live in New Jersey right now. I'm a travel dialysis nurse, so I go to I go to I went to Soho and um, got it. Um, when I went to Soho, they. When I showed a picture of the shoes from my phone to the sale associate, she didn't even know she had it. Like, no one requested to buy this. She's like, I don't think we have it, but I'll go look. And she went she went and she dig it out. This is the only pair she has. Um, it wasn't even on display anywhere, except for the product, except for other product store later on. But at Soho uh, product location, they didn't have it on display. The sales associate was like, I didn't know we had that. They were talking about each other. Anyways, this is the only Prada shoe that I have. I bought this for $850 before taxes. Two weeks later, this went up to $950. It increased by $100 two weeks later. So I'm glad I got it. For I saved $100. The next pair of shoes that I'm going to be talking about that I got from this month is the Dior. This one I really like. This is a summer uh, Dior sandal made out of black leather. I've been wearing this a few. I got this um, three days ago. It's already dirty. The Dior sandal. This is size 12. Dior has whole sizes. There's no a half. So if you size 11, then you're size 11. There's no 11 and a half, 10 and a half. 
sizes, just whole sizes. This looks really nice on me. I love it. I already got a lot of compliments from it. The word Dior right here. This is made out of shiny leather. It is comfortable. I do want to warn you. Depends on your uh, feet and how it's how God made them. Or, sorry, I shouldn't be religious. How the universe made you. Um, this can give you a blister. This side right here. Your toe can rub in the inside of it over and over and over. can give you a blister. Um, when I first got this, I was afraid that this, this letter is hard. I was afraid that this would cut into my skin. Like this. I was afraid it was going to cut into my skin, but it doesn't. I don't get blistered. I get blistered very easily from uncomfortable shoes. And the fact that I don't get it from this cutting from cutting in your skin, that can be that must be a good thing. But you can get it from this because this is very, very constrictive. Um, if it's not a good fit, um, this size fit me perfectly well. It fits me about right here. I do have some leg room up here, but this was the only shoes, the only size that they have left in the store that would fit me. I think this is a size 12. Yeah, size 12 because I asked for size 11 and she was like, I don't have it. Um, this fits me without wearing socks. I would not wear socks with this. Some people wear it with socks. Um, it wouldn't fit me wearing socks. And this is a sandal. So wearing it with socks looks a little weird. It looks a little 1990. But it looks really nice. My hands are little foot. <laughs> I really like this. I'm really happy about this purchase. I got this in um, New York. I got this in the um, boutique. Um, it's already scratched. I need to clean this. I got this in a boutique next to the Apple store by um, Central Park. The service, the sale associate was very nice. Um, I walked in there and it was a very pleasant experience. Um, the sales, he, the sales, he, the sale associate immediately greeted me with a smile. I had a really good service. She offered me, um, sparkling water. I was sweating because I was fat and it was summer and I was walking. So I was like sweating. I was like, oh my God, I need water. So she gave it to me and I jug it down. <laughs> such a bad look but whatever i was be myself and then um i was the reason why i was there that day was because i was trying to buy that olive green bag that i did a review on i purchased it in a different store but they didn't have it so but i was she ordered it for me but there's another there's a copy of it in a different store so i went to that store just to just to see it in person um but they also don't have it. It was sold out. So, um, but I, I walk all the way from Fifth Avenue to Central Park. So I was like, um, I'm going to like shop around because I'm here already. And I walk and I'm like sweating and you have AC. So I want to stay in here to cool down and get some free sparkling water. So I walk in there and she greeted me. She brought me some water and it was really fancy because she they don't use napkins. They bring, they, they bring you napkins, you guys. It's not napkin. It's a piece of cloth. So that was, I thought it was really fancy. Um, I was walking around. She's showing me her, the new men's collection. Being my size, I can't wear designer clothes. First of all, I'm too big. I wear like two extra large. Designer clothes don't carry that size. On top of it, um, it it's very expensive. Um... A t-shirt, a t-shirt is like $700 just for like a Dior t-shirt. And I was like, I have a lot of spare money as a travel nurse, but I'm not willing to like spend that kind of money. And anyone that wear a designer t-shirt kind of always look fake. And there's so many fake designer, how many t-shirts you see out there? It's like Gucci. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's just like, 
um it just gives like a fake vibe i didn't want to wear that so but but the but i did too, but i did get to touch the fabric on all the clothes they're very luxurious they're very thick even the t-shirt is very thick it's much thicker than a normal t-shirt it's not thin you know some of those t-shirts that they got that made from different brands like thin you can kind of see through a little bit and you wash it like three two three times and there's like holes on this t-shirt is, is thick i guess the fabric is really nice um the new collection is really nice but i saw that shoes so i went and got it um it was retail for 850 850 dollars after tax i think i i paid like seven i don't know 900 something four dollar for it um but that's the shoe those are the two shoes that i got this month um let me show you some of my Versace shoes since this video is not long enough already. Let me show you some of them. Okay, these are my two. I have three pairs of Versace shoes. These are my two favorite at the moment. I got them this year, a few months ago. This is a white Versace shoe. It's very dirty because I walk everywhere in New York with it. Let me show you. It is completely made out of leather. I do keep my shoe clean with a piece of cloth and um, some, if there's really dirty, I just use water. I do have a shoe cleaner at home, but I use that on this down here this is a rubber hard rubber and this is all leather and this is fabric i did get some compliments from wearing this and the guy was like that's a really nice pair of shoe where did you get it from and i think he was like expecting it from me like foot locker or something uh but i was like <laughs> i was like oh um versace and he's like oh <laughs> So that's why I said he I thought he was expecting it to be from like Foot Locker. There's nothing wrong with shopping at Foot Locker or anything else. I'm just saying that there's Versace in it. This is hard. This is like wood. Um, this is removable. The sole, you can take it out and clean it. Um, so I do take it out and clean it with a white cloth. Um, the shoelaces, it's not long enough. Um, for this, you do, again, I do tend to get blistered on the edges right here. So I do wear a band-aid over those area when I wear these shoes so that when it rubs, it rubs on the band-aid and not my skin and I won't get blistered. So I use these a lot as a, a foot protector on uh, pressure points. Another pair that I got that I thought was pretty unique. Um, it looks really nice. You see Versace, the Versace white shoe with golden safety pin. This is plastic. You can kind of move it around a little bit, but it's mainly, this is glued to the shoe. Versace is known for their safety pin, even back in like the 80s or 90s, when they make the favorite, favorite, uh, famous dress that was made out of safety pin. That's how this became really famous. So Versace has a lot of, a lot of their stuff has a safety pin on them. But this is again the same rubber, it's completely made out of leather. Versace, the back of it, and this is the front. This looks really nice, you guys. I also got compliment from wearing this from my friends, not some stranger. They thought this was very unique, and I thought it was really unique too. This was um, nine hundred something dollars on Versace website a few months ago. Hmm. 
One thing about buying shoes, you guys, is that shoe go out of style and season very quickly. Um, shoes are also always on sale. That pair of shoes probably already on sale. So, um, but shoes are also sold out very quickly for popular pieces. Very hard to find your size. If you are a guy, size from size 10 to 12 is going to be sold out within like a month of the product being released. So, um, shoes are very popular because it's more affordable comparing to other type of luxury accessory like clothing or bag. I mean, bags in the thousands and clothes are also in the thousands. So, shoes is what most people can afford uh, when it comes to luxury. So, shoes are always high commodity. On top of that, in a lot of luxury department store, the store clerk and associate make the most money from sh selling shoes. It also has the highest commission rate on most stores and depends on the brand. Like at Saks, they, I think, I believe they pay the sale associate a different percentage based on the type of shoe brands. But the shoes in general is a higher commission than other items. Um, that, to my knowledge, I might be wrong, please. Um, so, I love shoes. That's something that I can definitely afford to buy in abundance. I can't buy luxury clothes that won't fit me, too expensive. Bags are too expensive, so I buy a bag like once every six months or maybe once a year. Um, but shoes I can definitely buy um, once every three months. So I have a lot of shoes, a lot of designer shoes, more than I need. Um, but I do change my shoes out depending on the outfit. I don't wear the same shoe over and over and over. I have one pair of shoes that I use for work that's non-luxury. It's very comfortable. It's comfort and it's blood get on it. Again, I'm a nurse. Blood, dirty, whatever get on it. Then I can just, uh, and it's washable. I can toss it in the machine and wash it. So, I hope you found this video entertaining. I hope you found this video somewhat informative. Um, please subscribe. Uh, if you don't like this video, I'm sorry I waste your time. Otherwise, I will see you in the next video.